for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. I'm still a fan of getting through night flashlights, and what we have here is the latest offering. This is their T1S V2. And as you can see, it's a little one. In fact, I actually lost it for a while because it uh, it is so small, but I found it, and we're going to take a look at it. So, as you can see, tiny, it's roughly the size of my thumb. And this would be a lovely flashlight for, you know, carrying around in your pocket or a coat or, you know, in your car or whatever if, if you don't want it to take up too much room. But, yeah, it has all of the usual accoutrement. It's got the lanyard that I'm super fond of because it has the tightening lug so you absolutely are not going to lose it. It's not going to fall off and you can flip it up into your hand. This one did also come with a belt hook, belt loop, which can be hooked on either up or down depending on which way it is. You know, two directions there. Very nice. I, I like that. And uh, then it has all of the usual features that we have come to expect from the through night flashlights. You poke the button to turn it on, and then if you hold it down, it'll cycle through the three modes, low, medium, high. Nothing fancy there. Whichever mode you leave it in, so if we leave it in medium, turn it off, turn it back on, it goes back to medium. If we put it in high, off, on, stays in high, low, off, on, stays in low. Double tap will go into what they call turbo mode, which is the brightest of modes, which is nice. Um, Potential strobe warning. I don't know if this has a strobe feature, but if it does, it should be a triple tap. Yep, sure enough, it does have the strobe. Uh, despite being one of the little ones, this one does have the lockout feature. So if you hold, when it's off, if you hold the button down, it'll go into what it calls firefly mode, which is a super light mode, which allows you to you know, read something in the dark without giving away your position because people can see your flashlight. If, while in Firefly mode, you hold the button down, it will lock the flashlight. And now, no amount of pushing the button will turn it on. Instead, you have to hold the button down for two seconds, and it will go into Firefly mode. And now, if you turn it off and back on, it'll go into whatever mode you previously left it in. In this case, we were in low. So, that is handy if you're going to be putting it in your luggage or you don't want it to accidentally get turned on and have the battery drain, you can lock the flashlight so that an, an incidental button poke does not turn it on and drain it. Um, it does have USB-C charging, so it's just got a little rubber flap that covers the USB port. Uh, it does contain a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. This one is an 18350. So it's a little bit stubbier than your 18650s that we have seen in some of the previous batteries. Um, it is presumably waterproof up to a certain depth. It does have a rubber o-ring in there. And it did come with replacement o-rings as well as re replacement USB port covers because those are rubber parts. They are going to wear out or they're going to rot and so they give you replacements. Which I still think is one of the things that really sets through night above other flashlight brands, the fact that they leave, they provide you with replacement parts for the parts that are likely to be consumable, as it were. And then it comes with a USB-C charging cable. So everything that you need for the flashlight to last for a good long time, and even if you need to replace it, it can. It's LED, so the bulb is not likely to burn out anytime soon. Ah, it's a neat, tiny little flashlight, but let's go see just how powerful it really is. Here I am, in the dark field, with the frogs. And here is this flashlight on the lowest setting. Not terribly impressive, doesn't cast a particularly powerful beam, but that is the lowest setting. We go up to medium. Now we can actually see some stuff, but still not casting a particularly large beam. We'll go up to the high setting. Now we can see the, the bunker in the background, that there. And then finally we have Turbo! Which, uh, for a flashlight the size of my thumb, that's really very impressive. That lights up the whole field. I like it. I like it. This may go in my pocket from now on. Alright, back to the bench. Right, well... 
I will freely admit, I'm, I'm actually impressed. I was not expecting that much power from a flashlight that is literally the size of my thumb. That is an impressive little flashlight. I will be using this uh, in the future when I need a really tiny flashlight that centered lovely. So, if you are looking for a tiny yet powerful flashlight, I do in fact recommend the Thrunite T1S V2. The dog in the background may disagree. Thank you for watching.